Hello guys, today I want to show you some tips in Livewire and specifically about inline editing of a table. So here's one of my components at livewirekit.com and I improved that component. I asked a colleague Carlis to improve that component and I will show you two versions. So before the improvement, the component was this. You have a table, you click edit, you edit something, you click save and it is saved. And it was all working and fine, but then one of you suggested that it is better to have on click editing the exact column and not just the row and also lacking the validation so for example if there is empty field save it would be good to have a validation and the improved version of the same component is this looks visually the same let's refresh but if you click you can edit immediately here click away it is saved and also if you edit and leave that empty save there is a validation here so let's look at both code versions and see how this works and how we can add column editing within inline editing with Alpine.js. So first, simple version of inline editing as a table. We have products into array with you the blade of Livewire products passing the products and then we have a variable called edited product index. Which of that array index are we editing or none? And then in the blade of that file, there is a for each of the products and for each of the columns. If the index is not the same as current index of the row, we show the value. Otherwise, we show text input for editing with wire model defer products dot index, which is exactly the array index and dot name and similar to the price. So two fields, for example, and then the bottom it's edit or save. And if I click edit, it goes to edit product method in Livewire component, which just sets the edited product index. That's it. And then re-renders the products. And then one of those rows becomes editable. When we finish editing and click prevent save product, save product takes the current index, takes the products, and we're checking for is it empty just in case. So if it's not null, then we find the actual product in the database, update it, and then set edited product index to null, which means that all table is now read only and there's no input editing. So pretty simple stuff. Now let's take a look at the improved version with column editing and validation. So here's our new component and let's start with the validation. So how to achieve this. So whenever you click save, if it's empty, there's a validation error. To do that, all that it's done is in save product call this validate and validate takes the rules from the component properties like this. You can define property rules with products.star.name similar like in Laravel validation messages. So since the product is an array, we can define that products any element name is required and any element price is required and numeric. And also we can define products.star name. What is the actual name? So this part, this would show name instead of products.0.name, for example. And that's it. That's the validation part. Now, how to edit the actual field? You can see that in addition to edited products index, there's edited product field. And in the edit product, nothing changes. But there's also edit product field with product index and field name. And in the blade, we have this wire click on the field edit product field same index name and then we have set the edited product field what it does then if same condition edited product index or field name is index name then we show the text field and similar to the price pretty similar now how to save that on any action on click anywhere else there is a click away and for that we used alpine.js by just defining div x data on top on any div that is parent and we do click away and then there is a condition if edited product field is exactly what we need we call wire safe product so this is a short ternary operator syntax in alpine.js and since alpine.js is created by the same person who created livewire they play nicely together and then in the save product method, nothing really changes except for edited product field is also becoming null. And also my colleague Carly's optimized my code. So I did product find and then if product exists, 
and he used an operator in Laravel called optional, which makes this a better one-liner. So that's it, a pretty simple live wire component, and a lot of components are inside of my livewirekit.com. So the improved version is already on GitHub for those who purchase the components. All the new components and all the updated and fixed components will be in the same GitHub repository. So here you have table with inline editing, this one, but there are also 22 or 21 actually different components. If you want to purchase them all for one price of $19, go to livewirekit.com. That's it for now. See you guys on other videos.